Hey beautiful people, I hope you can see me well. So, how to know that you are an indigo? Many times when I was having exhibitions, people say, oh, you are definitely an indigo kid. But how to know that you are an indigo? You know, indigo people are those who are truly connected with the universe, who are intuitive person, who are connected with that divine, who can find positive things in negative moments. And <clears throat> how to know that you are that kind of person? And who actually are indigo in this kind of world that we live in. I believe that every one of us or every one of you who is watching this video is an indigo kid and not because just indigo kids watching this kind of videos but because we are all born as indigo and that's because if if we can say now that indigo is a person who is connected with the universe, who is, you know, widely open to intuition, who can express its spirit, its intuition better and stronger than others. That means that the layer between the person who people expect from him to be and who he truly is, that layer is tinier than the layer from other people, which means that <coughs> everyone is deep inside that kind of indigo person, but it depends then how, how big is that layer between our true self and the person that we are, you know, person is actually word from persona persona which means a mask so if we put that, that mask down there is an indigo kid behind it so it's kind of interesting now because every child is born as indigo child but then when we are growing up, we forget about it because people told us or, or telling us who we need to be, what we need to do, what we need to have to be happy, to be successful and all those different things. And we forget about who we truly are, what kind of gifts we are holding inside. So how to know that you are an indigo you know that you are an indigo and even if you don't know now yet that you are i can tell you that you are but maybe a lot of people are not searching for that a lot of people don't care about that because it's not the right time for them to figure that out and from the other side it doesn't matter because only those who know they know and <clears throat> what is good here for those who know they can express that and expressing that message from within is usually the best feeling ever because we are sharing that love we are sharing wisdom we are sharing that good energy which makes us connected with everything and when we are connected with everything we are whole we are we are like oneness and that is the best feeling ever at that point you don't need anything you you don't feel that you would need anything more and when you are at that level you are you know highly vibrating your energy is really strong 
your energetic field around your body is really strong and people can feel it and also when your energy is strong the manifestations are happening truly fast because your energy is taking the energy from that quantum field and this is all happening truly fast because time don't exist it's all depends of the energy how much energy you can create in your body so to wake up this indigo child inside of you all you need to do is just to search within yourself and just dig behind your mask behind that informations that people gave you and are giving you all the time just dig not who people think you should be but who you truly are and that's why I'm expressing my art on my widows because art is a great tool to search within yourself to write, to draw, to paint, to sing, dance that is a way how to dig in with yourself meditation is also a great tool And that is how to find that indigo child. Don't think that you are not an indigo. If you're closed, if you know you don't feel intuition yet. <coughs> it's within you. We were born with that. Some people are more open, some people le are less open, but we all holding that inside of us. And we are all that indigo person, indigo kid, indigo child. So that's it. Wake it up and express it. Blessings and love to all of you beautiful people. I want to give you a, another message. The reason why I'm doing a lot of those widows right now is <coughs> and not so much of painting is because I took a break from everything. Right now I, we are on vacation with my girlfriend and I took a break from painting to find some new inspiration, some, you know, new things, new, uh, new information, new energy. So I took a break. I was painting now like more than one year constantly, every single day and Sometimes we need to take a break from things we love to do to to grow. Sometimes we need to let go to, you know, to become more open. So that's why I'm doing this with us. It's much easier, less complicated with editing and that's it. That's why. But it will be more of this with us as well of painting. I have lots of visions lots of different ideas so stay tuned for more with us as well have a beautiful day people and see you in the next one peace